Hello students, let's do mean and median exercise 27A, page number 282. Find the mean of, and we have four numbers, so it's like finding the average of these four numbers. Now, the required mean will be, first, we have to write the sum of all these values given, divided by the number of values. So, let's begin by saying, Required mean is now sum of all the values. So let's write down these numbers 7 plus 10 plus 4 plus 17. Sum, isn't it? So we add up everything. Then number of values. How many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So we divide it by 4. So now let's add this up 7 plus 10 plus 4 plus 17. We add up all these. 7 plus 4 is 11, 11 plus 7 is 18, carry 1, 1, 2, 3, we have 38. So here we have 38 by 4. Now we have to divide 38 by 4 to get our answer. So let's do that division here, 38 divided by 4. 4 nines are 36 minus 2. Now let's carry on. With our division. So for that we have to put a decimal point here and now we can add zeros. Now carry the decimal point on top, bring down the zero. Now our number is 20. So four fives are 20 minus zero. So we've got 9.5. So the required mean is 9.5. So we can write that down. The mean, the required mean is 9.5. So this is our answer. Question 2, we have these five numbers. So let's begin. Required mean is sum of all these values divided by the number of values. So uh, sum of all the values will mean 12 plus 9 plus 6. Then we have 11 and we have 17. Now how many values do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five. So we need to divide all these by 5. So first let's add it up. 12, 9, 6, 11 and 17. Addition of all these numbers. 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 6 is 17. Plus 1, 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. Carry 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So we get 55. So the required mean, we found the sum to be 55 and then we're going to divide it by 5. 5 11s are 55. So we have found the mean. Mean is 11. So we have found our answer here. Mean is 11. Question 3. So let's begin here also. Required mean is sum of all the values divided by the number of values. Now required mean. 3 plus 1 plus 5 then we have two fours and a 7 and let's see how many values we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so divide this by 6 so let's add all this up 3 plus 1 plus 5 then 4 and then 7 let's add it up 3 plus 1 is 4 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 13 plus 4 is 17 and 17 plus 7 is 24. So here we've got 24 divided by 6. 6 4s are 24. So we've got the required mean. Our answer here is 4. So this is our answer. Next question. Let's begin this. Required mean is sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So let's start by writing the sum of all the values. Let's write 7 plus 5. Then we have 0, 3, 0, 6, 0, 9, 1 and 4. So we have quite a number here. Now let's count the number of values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. We have 10 values. 
Now let's try and add it up here itself. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. 21 plus 9 is 30. 30 plus 1 is 31 plus 4 is 35. So here what do we have? We have 35 by 10. 35 by 10. So when you divide 35 by 10, we can do it the easier way. You don't have to do the long division. This is the denominator is 10. So we have to just move the point one place to the left. So I can write down 35 and move the point one place to the left. That is from here to here. So now my answer is 3.5. So I have found my mean. The mean here is 3.5. So that's my answer. Question 5. So here we have decimal number. So let's be careful. Required mean is sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So the required mean, let's write down all these numbers. 2.1 plus 4.5 plus 5.2 plus 7.1 and then we have 9.3. Now, how many values do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Divide all this by 5. So, let's do this addition carefully now. So, that's 2.1, 4.5, 5.2, 7.1 and 9.3. So, we need to add up all these. So, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 2, 8, plus 1, 9, 9 plus 3 is 12, carry 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 7 is 19, 19 plus 9 is 28. So we've got 28.2. So what do we have here? 28.2 divided by 5. So we need to do this division. So let's do that. Let's divide 28.2 by 5. So 28 we'll take, so 5 fives are 25, minus, now 3, then I have a point which I will carry up and I bring down the 2 here, so it's 32. 5 sixes are 30, minus, I can continue my division. Now once you put the point, you can keep adding any number of zeros to the right. So I added 1 zero, I'm going to bring that down, now it's 20. So 5 fours are 20, with this my division gets over. The remainder is 0. So what do we have here? 5.64. So I have found the mean. The mean is 5.64. So this is my answer. Question 6. So here we have these numbers. Let's write down the formula for it. Required mean is sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So let's write down all these numbers and find the sum. 5, 2.4, 6.2, 8.9, and 3.4. Now let's count the number of values. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 values or 6 terms. Now we need to add up all these numbers. So look, let's begin the addition. 5 plus 2, 2.4 that is, 6.2, 8.9, 4 4.1 and 3.4. So we're going to add up all these numbers. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 9 is 15, 15 plus 1 is 16, 16 plus 4 is 20. So 0 and I carry 2. 2 plus 5 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 plus 8 is 23, 23 plus 4 is 27, plus 3, 30. So I've got 30.0 or it's simply 30. 30 divided by 6, 6 fives are 30. So the mean here is 5. So that is our answer. The mean is 5. Question 2. 
find the mean of the first eight natural numbers. Now we need to be careful about our question. So the first eight natural numbers. Natural numbers are counting numbers. So it starts from one. So what are the first eight natural numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. These are the first eight natural numbers. Now we have to find the mean of this. So the mean will be sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So here the required mean will be addition of all these numbers. So 1 plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And the number of values is 8. So let's do the addition here. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 6 is 21, 21 plus 7 is 28, 28 plus 8 is 36. So we have 36 as the sum and we are dividing it by 8. So let's do this division, 36 divided by 8. 8 fours are 32 minus, we have 4, now let's continue our division. So I'm going to put a point and now I can put a zero after that. Carry that point on top and bring that zero down. So now I have 40, which is 8 fives are 40. So 4.5 is my mean here. So the answer here is 4.5. So the required mean that I've been asked to find is 4.5. So that's our answer. Question 2. The first six even natural numbers, we should find the mean of that. So first, what are the first six even natural numbers? Starting with 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. These are the first six even natural numbers. To find the mean, we should find the sum of all these values and divide it by the number of values. So let's do that. Required mean will be 2. Now we need to add up all this. 6, 8, 10 and 12 and divide this by 6 because it says the first 6. So number of values is 6. So let's add it up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 8 is 20, 20 plus 2 is 22, carry 2, 2, 3, 4, so we have 42. So here we get 42 by 6, so divide 42 by 6, 6 sevens are 42, so we have got the mean for this question, the mean is 7, so this is our answer. Question 3. The first five odd natural numbers. Which are the first five odd natural numbers? 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. These are, these are the first five odd natural numbers. To find the mean of this, we should add up all this by the number of these values. So required mean, we need to add up 1 plus 3, 5, 7 and 9. And divided by the number of values, there are 5. The question itself says that there are 5. So now let's add it up here. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. So here we have 25 by 5. So divide 25 by 5. 5 fives are 25. So we have found the mean. The mean is 5. So this is our answer. Question 6. All prime numbers up to 30. Okay, so first we need to write down all the prime numbers up to 30. So let's begin. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29. So these are all the prime numbers up to 30. Now to find the mean of this, we have to find the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So 
Now let's begin. Required mean, we need to add up all these. So 2 plus 3, then 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. So we have this many numbers here. Now let's count how many values we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means we need to divide this by 10. So let's begin addition. We'll do a few here itself. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. Now from here, let's start adding. 17, then 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29. Okay, let's begin. 7 plus 1, 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27 plus 3 30 39 carry 3 so we carry 3 here 3 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 so we have 129 as the sum of all the values and we are dividing it by 10 so let's not do long division Let's remember decimal division here. So I'm going to write 129 as it is. I'm going to look at my denominator. There is one zero. So my point will move one place to the left when I divide. So for a whole number, the point is always after the number. If it has to move one place to the left, it will come here. So what do I get here? 12.9. So I have found the required mean. The required mean is 12.9. So this is my answer. Question 5. All prime numbers between 20 and 40. So first, let's write down all the prime numbers between 20 and 40. 23, 29, 31 and 37. These are the prime numbers between 20 and 40. Now we need to find the mean of these. So the formula will be sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So let's first find the sum of these values. That is 23 plus 29 plus 31 plus 37. Now we have to divide it by the number of values. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are four numbers here, four terms here. So we're going to divide it by 4. So first we're going to add up. So let's do this addition, 23, 29, 31, and 37. Add it up. 3 plus 9 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. 13 plus 7 is 20. 0 carry 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. And 9 plus 3 is 12. So we have 120. So 120 divided by 4. Let's do that division. 120 divided by 4. Let's take 12. 4 3s are 12 minus. Then we have a 0 which will carry up. 0 minus. So what do we have here? 30. So we have found the mean for this question to be 30. So this is our answer, 30. Now children, we'll stop with this for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.